Yes, you read the title correct. Sunday League is back. What's up guys, it's Hasbro12 and welcome to my Sunday League debut. But it's not actually officially my whole Sunday League debut because I have played in two other teams. One of them uh, we were called Born Blaze, so I played for them my like, entire life. The second one was List, which you saw, I don't know if it was last year or a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's been too long. So now I've joined the Born Blaze Dads team. I've actually got my former Born Blaze kit. I was uh, obviously number seven, come on, come on. Let's be serious here. Um, and a few highlights of my career for Born Blades. I scored a bicycle kick. Uh, I know that's quite good uh, to always slip in. I also scored a volley from the halfway line. That's quite a good goal I like to talk about. And Nobody asked you. <laughs> William, you're so bad at this. You have one job. You literally have like one saying, job. Harry, you have to open Harry, the door like, and say nobody asked like you. Saying, you can't even do that. It's like saying, try not to smile. You're not a smile at all. What? Wow, well, who are you? Just please, you, otherwise I'll get Barney to do it. How Barney gonna do it? <laughs> He's doing better than you. <laughs> oh, I also scored a volley from the halfway line, and I... Nobody asked you. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Moving into the actual game, um, you're probably wondering uh, where are you playing, how long do you play, and whatever. Basically, I only trained for this team um, last Thursday. You'll watch this on the Friday, so a week before. I wasn't due to play this Saturday, but they called me in like an hour before kickoff because the right back has sort of a half injury. So they were like, oh, Harry, we need you in case the right back gets injured. And you're thinking, right back, really, Harry? You play right back? No, I play um, CDM, but um, because that's, that's seen as defensive, they thought, ah, oh, you can play right back. And to be fair, I would say I'm I'm a fairly versatile player, so I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, because I obviously didn't want to be like, on, the, on my first ever turn up to a match, be like, no, I'm not playing there, because the, the manager got like the captain over, he got all the players over, and was like, right, can you play right back for us if we need cover? I'm like, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was happy to do it, and I accept it, and um, I played okay, but I only came on at half time, because half time was the, the time that the right back was like, right, lads, I need to come off. Yeah, I only came on at half time, so that's when I actually come onto the pitch. But for now, we're just going to watch the first half highlights and get a grip to the actual team, so you understand a few of the players, etc. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So the match started off um, from exceptional filming from William, and the mic wasn't actually on. But luckily we didn't miss anything. But seriously, thank you very much, William. So one of our midfielders, Sam, um, I think that's his name. I'm just learning the names as much as you are. So yeah, he takes a shot and the keeper does not deal with it as well as we thought. And we were like, the keeper was not comfortable with the ball fired at him. So as they are a university team, you can see why they're, they're just that little bit quicker because they, they train three times a week. So they're obviously gonna be fitter, more physical, etc. And um, yeah, it is noticeable on the pitch. That's not taking anything away from them. Training three times a week, obviously is easy and playing a match. So yeah, fair play, just something to note. So you're thinking, oh, we're playing university team. They're gonna play playing ticky tack around us and then banging at top ins because they're just that good. No, we have to remember, we're still at Sunday League Standard, so goals like this will always go in the back of the net. And um, we can complain all we want, but um, they're one nil up. We have to sort of scratch our eyes for a minute if something like that doesn't happen in a Sunday League match. So after their goal, we go on the attack. Ball gets pinged, oh, pinged down the pitch to our striker, Dave. He does a terrific touch to control it. And then it obviously goes out for a throw-in. But then something happens straight after that. Basically what happened, the, when Dave got put through with the ball, the linesman did not put his flag up, but the referee called for offside. Jay on the sideline basically said to the ref, like, why are you calling it offside? Because the ref gave it as an offside when the, when the linesman didn't flag it. So like, oh, why are you doing that? So the, the ref and him got a bit of a like chat together and it didn't go great. Basically what happened, it ended with the ref going towards Jay and just saying the words, I'm gonna be watching you for the rest of the game. And Jay replied with, um, I think you should be watching the game ref. And uh, immediately, card. Seems a bit pointless really, he's not even on the pitch. I didn't even know subs could get a yellow card. Obviously Arsene Wenger got a red card. But um, I didn't know subs get a yellow card, but now we do. Yeah, but it provided some good content for the video. And here's just more evidence that they were just that bit more quick than us. The way he just skips away from the right back, it's just it's just evident that they do train more than us. Yeah, this, this was actually an interesting one because they actually went and scored. Don't ask me how um, this happened, but they did score. But the ball apparently was moving, so it didn't count. Mate, I know, I know you're winning and I know you're in a university team, but come on, nutmegs. 
just out of order. On the sideline, I felt really sorry for our striker, um, Dave. He he was on his own for quite a while of the game. So, and uh, he was trying, so look at him, he's just running so much. He, he did run a lot, it, it went sort of unnoticed really. And he's sort of quite isolated on his own. If you ever have a spare minute in the day, just get your computer out or your iPhone, whatever. Just type into Google the definition of solid and um, this is what will come up. Honestly, the centre back, I think his name Pinky, he was absolutely solid. Like every single challenge, he won. There was no challenge or any 50 50 that he did not win. I'm not joking. Yeah, this guy uh, on their team on the ball, he actually, um, he, he basically ran the game really. He was he, he was good. And uh, after the game, he asked for a few clips in this video and you'll see which clips they are. But then this was completely unexpected. Our player manager does an outrageous header and it hits the post and we're like, what? First of all, how have you done that? That's outrageous. Second of all, how hasn't that gone in? You know, see, Dave was just trying to make things happen all day. And actually here is, um, Here's their second goal, and it's like, what? No, Sunday League standard is not like this. What is going on? Yeah, so this is actually where Sarri scored their third goal. So it's already 3-0, and it's it's nice play by the winger, a simple cutback and a simple finish, but you can miss them. So I'm not gonna say really simple. I've definitely missed a few of them in my time. But um, yeah, they're 3-0 up, and we're just like, right, so what now? And then we actually tried to pass it round, and this was actually where we started getting a bit more control in the game. I say control, we were 3-0 down, but um, we just passed it round a bit more, and it, it just felt it felt more comfortable. So it's a Sunday league video, it's almost half time, and um, you're thinking, where are all the challenges? <laughs> So that is half time, and I actually have the stats somewhere. Let me get the stats. I actually wrote this down. No, I might be a bit too keen. So the stats are half time. For us, we had six shots, four of them were on target. For the Surrey team, they had nine, uh, three were on target, and then three were goals. So it wasn't like we had absolutely no shots. We had a few. We tested the keeper. Keeper wasn't comfortable, as you saw. Yeah, I guess they were just quicker than us. Because as I said, the right back was carrying an injury. The centre backs obviously were, were older in comparison to the Surrey attackers. So um, they're obviously quicker than us. Defense versus attack. And yeah, make of that what you will. So now on to the second half, and this is probably the reason why you actually clicked on this video to see me in action. To see Hasman playing his Sunday League debut game. As I said before, I am filling in for right back because he was carrying an injury. Um, I don't actually know if I'm going to be playing this weekend because technically I wasn't actually meant to play this game, but uh, they sneaked me in because they needed some cover in case he was injured. But uh, yeah, I was covering for right back for this second half, so look forward to my highlights. There are definitely loads of highlights. <laughs> now, but seriously, I do come out of that position at the end because the manager's like, I'll oh, go on then, play in your favourite position. So yeah, look forward to that, but on to the right back highlights. So obviously when you play at full back, you're always wondering from the kickoff, is the ball going to come to me? Because every single Sunday League team, and you know it, you do this too, you get the kickoff, you play it back to the centre back, and they play it to the full back, and the full back either loses the ball, in panic or he just hoofs it up the pitch. So something to note is over at right back you can't really see but I was marking the quickest number 12 like he was rapid um, so yeah I had to keep myself having an extra yard um, in case he just tried to outpace me because I mean I wouldn't say I'm slow but I'm not that really fast so I just had to make sure of that. And we actually seem to start attacking more a nice little play by the wing in the cam and uh, we get another shot off so we're actually coming back with a vengeance. And then immediately when they come back, there is our solid defender once again. Honestly, guys, I can't express enough how many challenges he put in and how many interceptions. It was genuinely ridiculous. Right, here is my first involvement. I don't actually touch the ball, but I am involved. Basically, the, the kid on the side that I talked about being really fast, he got put through, but obviously with the extra yard, I managed to keep pace with him. And I was just like, right, you're not skilling me. I'm not being nutmegged or humiliated and you are not scoring. I was like, right, I'm going to jockey you, going to hold you there and wait for the team to come back. And it, to be fair, it actually worked. It held him up and all our team got back to defend. And then just as we think, right, we're, we're now secure, we've attacked. It was quite a hard one to, to take. 
because... Alright, so they end up getting a free kick. It was actually a good free kick. So, fair play. And I don't really have much to say. Here is my first touch of the ball. And don't ask me what the clearance is. Honestly, don't. But uh, I consider it another success because the, the winger did not get through on goal. I kicked the ball at him, so he did not know where the ball was. It's called confusion. It's a mental game. So now onto another involvement. It's, it's pretty crazy now, isn't it? Um, I see the ball. Uh, I see it before the winger, so I go in and intercept it. I then I drag it back to try and open up the pass. Unfortunately, my pass is, um, let's be honest, very bad. And it's just in front of the centre mid. So here we are again. They, they try to play across field, but no. Um, I am there again. And uh, I just think, right, let's just do simple. I don't want to lose the ball. Uh, so I just play it first time to centre mid. Easy stuff. And uh, yeah, pretty crazy stuff. So I shield the ball for, our, uh, for Pinky to, to play it out to Nick. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't reach the, the winger. But um, then the ball comes back. I'm like, right, I'm going to intercept again. And I then play it outside of the boot. I know. I know I need to hold back, but uh, yeah, I played for the winger, and then we go on the attack, and um, yeah, fortunately nothing happened though. So I think this is the first time where this team has actually been filmed, so they're like, right, we're, we're going to want a banger here, but uh, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they, they then score a corner, and uh, a few of our players were complaining for some sort of foul. I don't personally think that was a foul. Yeah, then they play back to the centre, and I do actually get the ball from the centre, but luckily I'm... I'm Composed, so I just play it in between two players through the eye of a needle. That ball. And, um, yeah, so luckily, the fullback did not lose the ball today. And this was actually where we were putting some nice plays together, like the midfielders were passing around, and it was actually looking quite good. And it was a nice outside of the boot pass from uh, Sam. And um, the ball played in here was actually a really good ball. It was so close to finding someone. Like, what? It's like one of those balls where the commentators were like, oh, just needed a touch. But uh, unless he did a Raheem Sterling. Not only is our centre back solid, but he is composed. He's in his own box, and you're like, yeah, just a simple pass. But like, honestly, it's so much, it's so comfortable playing in defence with someone like that. And now I'm finally free from right back. I've been let loose into my free position in CDM, and um, it was actually quite reassuring because all the defence that I've been playing with for most of the half was like, right, simple Harry, it's your favourite position, and it, I don't know, it's just I'm glad that I had players like that in the team, just just to reassure you. And first involvement here, um, straight away, interception. It's just what I do. I mean, I say I come out of CDM, but obviously you still have to cover for the full-backs and centre-backs. And I actually enjoy that. So yeah, here I am, still still marking that winger, making sure he is not getting past me today. And it, it didn't actually happen. So here's actually one of my good involvements in the entire game. The winger does a little one-two with me. And there's about three players that I have to throw it through. And everyone's like, time, time, time. You know the usual kind of shouts. And I'm just like, right, I'm going to pick you out. One-two, bang. I'm actually quietly proud of that pass. So again, it's pretty much the same ball, just in the air this time, because I thought there was someone behind me about to stick their foot in, I wanted to chip it over them, but there wasn't. But um, yeah, it still went to the player. But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying my, my highlights. So we actually go get a goal here, and it's actually due to a mistake of their centre back. And um, they, they claim for offside, but let's be honest, it was not offside. It's actually a really good finish into the bottom left corner. So yeah, well done. Now, what you're about to see is something that I, I pride myself in. Obviously being CDM slash Kante, uh, you need hard work, tackles, and do the simple passes. So the, the tackles part, obviously a slide tackle is very, very fun. So this attack was running through our whole team. I was like, no, 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 no. You're not getting anywhere near our defense. So I put an aside in challenge that they're the type of challenges I just love to do, um, especially when they come off, or come off obviously. But um, yeah, that obviously got the team more into sort of my style. That is, if you're wondering how I sort of play, that is how I play. I just love running alongside people, slide tackling. Look, there's another one, another ball win, but unfortunately it did go to them. But uh, yeah, that is my style of play. I just love all the tackles and the simple passes and just, I love controlling the midfield and just running back and forth, back and forth, and just making sure that defence is defended well. Because something I noticed on the sideline from the first half is there was a huge, huge gap between defence and midfield. And I'm like, I need to be in that hole. I personally think it's a very underrated position. Because if you just have someone there literally just running back and forth, controlling that, that position, they're not going to thread the ball through or run through. So yeah, I don't know why, but I just really, really enjoy that type of thing. And obviously in the previous Sidemen YouTube All-Stars charity match, something I did notice is they could have used a, a workhorse um, holding midfielder, but um, that's, that's none of my business. 
it's hard to work out whether to know to go into the challenge because if you go into the challenge, you can just be played around and then you're out of the game. Quite interesting to try and realize when you need to go in and when you just howl back. I just wish I got to play more of CDM. I just, I just really enjoy it and I want to run at them and put maximum effort in just to make sure they do not have time on the ball. And um, obviously winning the ball is a bonus. But uh, yeah, I just I just love the tackles and the marshalling. Ah, oh, I just love it so much. Obviously, you can look at the fact that we conceded nothing when our CDM, but I'm not going to go into that because that's unfair because the team was obviously tired and whatever in the last 10 minutes. But I just wish I got a, a more of a run out than 10 minutes in CDM. And the ref was so trigger happy with his whistle this, this game. I don't want to put in the effort just to put in every single whistle, but there were so many. Like that, that is a clear foul. And he's still on the ground and we're like, ref. Look, at least let him be treated. And I was like, ref, nah, nah, you're right. You can just stay on the floor. And then we're about to get put through. And this is a blatant handball. It's such a handball. Like, how hasn't the ref given that? We were through. Like, if the ref gives that, surely that is a red card. Surely. Like, he has blocked us. He's the last man. What more could you want? And um, here I try one, two, and that's so annoying how like, I just put it too hard. But uh, I would blame it on tire legs or the floor, but. The floor is astro, so it's it's nice and flat. Yeah, that is the end of the game. And um, yeah, I am actually number three, if you wanted to know. It, it, I literally just arrived, as I said, an hour before kickoff, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're playing. But um, obviously I was happy that I was playing. I love playing, but uh, yeah, they just gave me the kit that was sort of in the corner of the room. And that is the kit that I'm now wearing, number three. And I'm not too bothered about numbers, whatever. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you're probably wondering, what am I gonna see from the Sunday League series? And obviously, I'm not playing striker or cam, so you won't be seeing goals, goals, goals. You'll just be seeing, hopefully, the challenges and the tackles and the effort and just, yeah. Um, I hope you still enjoy that. I mean, that's just how I like to play because I feel like even if you're playing a bad game in football, you can still, you have, like, putting in maximum effort is like, like the minimum. That is the minimum you have to do. Being CDM, that is obviously the main aim. Putting in maximum effort, just make sure they don't have time, etc. If you're a striker, if you miss the goal too many games, then you might be out. But CDM, I don't know, I just really, really love the position. And hopefully it's still enjoyable to watch. And my plan is to, as long as, <laughs> this is pressure on William and any other cameramen, it's hard to get people to film the games. I understand it because it is quite dull. But if um, people, someone can film every single week, what I want to do is every single month I compile like a compilation of all the best bits of the month. So obviously we haven't played enough this month for October, but say November, it'll be like my Sunday league um, season November, my Sunday league season December. And it'll be like those four games compiled into one video. And hopefully that makes it more entertaining than just one video, but I wanted to show my debut. Hopefully you do enjoy it and hopefully looking forward to it. Like if you are, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Shout out to the week goes to this guy. Thank you. I'll see you later.